Welcome everybody. In today's video we are gonna predict the Champions League final stages uh, from the remaining eight of finals all the way through the, the final. And the best way to predict things uh, that I found out during my years is just to sort them out and in this like put them in this last bowl and pick just one random and you will get the things 100% accurate every time or 0% it's more of a 50-50 chance with these things before jumping into this uh, prediction I just want to make clear for everybody who is uh, waiting for the new episode of the random Nuzlocke uh, challenge to come out that it will be up probably next week just because I'm doing this video and then I will post if I can I'm still writing it another Pokemon video on uh, this this coming weekend so the like this week the Nuzlocke is postponed so it will uh, be regular from the next week without further ado let's jump right into the predictions we now here have the bowl as I showed you previously right now below there are the the board the table the table with the, all the the matches that uh, will be like uh, played from uh, this uh, Friday where, because this Friday will, the Champions League will come back and the first match that will uh, will be played are the remaining uh, eight of finals because some of them were postponed uh, because of the pandemic uh, so we still need to have receive the outcomes from those matches because they they only played the first leg while the other matches that you can see on the the left of the table are uh, already quarterfinals because the teams played both of the legs let's start from the the first match that uh, uh, will be manchester city real madrid manchester city real madrid is quite a great match to watch and it's one i'm really looking uh, forward to because uh, Real Madrid showed that they still have a great team right now uh, they won La Liga so they are quite good uh, while Manchester City with Guardiola is really hungry for uh, hungry for uh, for the Champions League win since they lost the title uh, race by a long uh, margin against uh, against Liverpool which made a lot of lot of records uh, this this year uh, breaking the pre some previously owned by Manchester City uh, so Manchester City is a bit uh, the odds are in the favor of Manchester City because they won uh, the first leg 2-1 so maybe it will be a match that Real Madrid really needs to play perfectly if it wants to if it wants a spot in the in the quarters finals so we'll see who will be draw right here and the, mat and the team that will uh, go to the quarterfinals is Manchester City which is uh, very good for uh, Guardiola's man will now throw Real Madrid out of the way and uh, keep Manchester City for the time uh, like Guardiola really needs to conquer the Champions League if he wants to leave a mark in the Manchester City history he won like the, the Premier League so it's not like he hasn't done anything for the team but the Champions League is something the team was built for uh, in the all of this year so hopefully for him he, he will get his uh, win this year the next match that uh, will be played uh, and the team that will uh, come uh, come out uh, as, as a winner uh, of this match is uh, will, will play against uh, Manchester City in the quarterfinals is uh, Juventus Olympique Lyon this, this match is a bit uh, weird because uh, in the first leg Lyon actually won 1-0 uh, against uh, the Italian side uh, which was a bit of a shocker uh, considering that uh, Lyon is uh, relatively weak uh, compared to the likes of Juventus they have Mr. Champions League Cristiano Ronaldo but even uh, great players as Dybala and the Ligt, Bonucci uh, they are very powerful players and it will be really a shocker if Lyon manages to el eliminate Juventus for good during this Champions League campaign so we'll see who will come out from this bowl and uh, we will face Manchester City in the quarterfinals as I said before so let's draw and the team that comes out is 
actually Olympic Lyon, so quite a good surprise right now because if uh, Lyon really goes through, we'll uh, put Juventus aside and Lyon with Manchester City. If Lyon really comes uh, through in this uh, eighth of final, it will be like a shocker for every football fan because Juventus was another team built to win the Champions League. They even won in many years, actually like two decades or uh, more. So they really need uh, this Champions League to cement their legacy with the new coach Sarri, which uh, just won the Serie A uh, title. So they really, really need the Champions League because they were quite in trouble during the, um, the season. They risk a lot. They only like went up of up one point uh, from the second spot, which was Inter Milan. They risk quite a lot this season, were really contested uh, from the other team, and also Sarri isn't getting any favor from uh, his own fans because not many people like him as a coach, and uh, he really hasn't showed the great uh, uh, ball play that was. Uh, his signature style, he was bought for that because fans wanted a great Juventus team that could play well and show what Napoli was uh, showing at the time when Sarri was the coach and even Chelsea with uh, the, only, the first and only year Sarri was there, he won the Europa League so uh, high, expectation from, high, high expectation from this match but unfortunately this draw has uh, given Juventus the loss so uh, as an Italian, I really hope Juventus can go through and uh, show what they have to do during this Champions League. But if it goes this way, it will be a real, real failure this season for the for the Italians. Now for the other eight of finals, we have another Italian team. We have Napoli, which uh, tied with Barcelona in the first leg, 1-1 at the San Paolo. So they really need to score at least a goal if they want to progress to the Champions League campaign uh, with a Barcelona which is really in a, in a crisis right now. There are rumors that Messi will probably leave the club or uh, he's very fed up with, uh, with, the st with the management because they, they don't get uh, like many good players that can fit with his uh, style of play and uh, also the manager doesn't help him a lot. He probably wants to rejoin Guardiola. I don't know if Guardiola will go to Barcelona after this season or if Messi will join him at Manchester City. There are also rumors that he will probably come to Serie A to Inter Milan, but those are just rumors. But uh, since uh, Ronaldo arrived in uh, Juventus, everything is possible. So I won't um, really say that that's uh, a thing that can happen in the future. But now let's see who will, be, will come on top. Uh, between uh, Barcelona and Napoli, we now have to choose one. And we have another shocker, which is uh, Napoli going through the quarterfinals, uh, which cements the, the crisis from uh, Barcelona. Uh, they had a very rough year losing uh, La Liga against the rivals Real Madrid. And uh, getting out of the Champions League as Juventus will be a total failure from uh, the Catalan team. The team that will face uh, Napoli in the quarterfinals will be decided from the outcome of this match, which is Bayern-Chelsea. The English team lost at the bridge, uh, their home, 3-0, uh, so they really need a miracle to go through the, these eight of finals, because uh, uh, a 3-0 loss is something that few teams have overcome. There are, I remember that like uh, Roma probably like won the the quarterfinals like many years ago like two <laughs> uh, they won uh, they were like, like they lost to Barcelona for one and they won 3-0 uh, at the second leg but that's something that doesn't happen too often and also the team really needs to come through if they want to go on the other hand Bayern Munich is a really strong team I have I, I, right now the team in my hand uh, as I was saying, Bayern Munich is a strong team, they have Lewandowski which got inches from uh, winning the Golden Boot, he got 34 goals while Immobile from uh, Lazio had 36, but uh, like Bayern Munich is one of the candidates for the final win. But we do have to say goodbye to Bayern Munich because we have Chelsea that comes out from the ball, so yeah, we are with these draws. We are eliminating all of the really strong teams that uh, will 
probably get a real chance at winning the Champions League this year. So I don't know how accurate this will be, but I, if it does, it will be like a shocking uh, Champions League. Now let's move to the other side of the table, where we have teams that have already secured their quarterfinal spot. So th they will have to play like next next week. Uh, firstly, we have uh, Leipzig, the German team against uh, Atletico Madrid. This is like uh, many people thought that uh, they said that uh, the this side of the of the table of the quarterfinals was a bit weaker from uh, the other one because we have teams like Leipzig, Atletico Madrid and Atalanta. PSG is probably one of the best contenders. So one of these teams will obviously of these four teams will obviously get a chance at the final. Uh, well, on the other side, you have great powerful teams like uh, Real Madrid, Manchester City, Juventus, uh, Bayern Munich, Barcelona. But for now, in our draw, uh, every strong team except for Manchester City is uh, out for the time being. So I don't really know what to expect from the from the final. Uh, now we have Atletico Madrid, which will probably get a chance at, the, at winning the Champions League this year uh, since they lost uh, both of the, of the finals they played in the last years against uh, their, their, their neighbors of uh, Real Madrid it was very unlucky for them, they got really inches away from winning one time uh, they lost at penalties and the other time they lost because Sergio Ramos at the 94 minutes uh, clinged the, the tie so we'll see who will come out now and it's Atletico Madrid, yeah, they are probably the better team in this part, in this side of the table uh, Maybe, well, tied with uh, PSG, because uh, also PSG is a, is a power powerhouse in uh, their own regard uh, They have a strong uh, attacking trio, though I don't know if Mbappé will uh, be fit for the semi-finals Because he will most likely skip the quarterfinals for his injury and speaking of PSG, we have now Atalanta PSG. The Italian side surprised many with uh, with their comeback in the in the group stages of this Champions League. Uh, they were given for uh, like they were totally lost in the in the first three matches they had in the Champions League, but then something magical happened and they really came through and also they defeated Valencia in the eight of finals. Nobody could could have believed that. And they even scored four goals uh, in the first leg and four goals in the second leg, so they really showed some great football. While PSG doesn't need uh, any introduction, they uh, they only need the Champions League to cement their legacy in the football uh, football world and the football memories of many people. So we'll see who will come up to, from this ball and reach Atletico Madrid for a semi-final match. And we have another shocker because we have Atalanta, which will uh, prevail on the on the French side, which uh, now gives us uh, two Italian teams. We are now going to the other quarter, uh, the other quarterfinal. We are switching now side of the table. We have Lyon Manchester City, uh, which will probably, if a real match, will probably one-sided, but you can never expect a one-sided match in the Champions League, especially. Uh, reach when you reach the quarterfinals, so we'll see who will go, who will come out of this bowl, because it could be quite a shocker or a good thing for Manchester City coming out of here, because they will then have another chance at a Champions League semi-final, uh, which will probably get them a place in the final and then a chance at winning the title. And now let's see who will come out. We take in one. And we have again another shocker, Olympic Lyon coming through, defeating Manchester City this time as well as they did against Juventus. So they have reached the, the semi final. Um, and so you only need to know which of their opponent will, uh, will go through the, the quarter finals if it will be Napoli or Chelsea. Napoli and Chelsea are two strong teams managed by two ex-players, two former players, Lampard and Gattuso, which were midfielders. Really uh, diverse role they had in uh, their respective team, Chelsea and Milan, but uh, they were very respected on the pitch and uh, now off-pitch as well. Napoli and Chelsea faced uh, one time, I think, 
in the Champions League. It was when the year Chelsea in 2011, no, in 2012, when Chelsea won the Champions League, uh, they had this eight of final or quarter final I can remember against Napoli where they lost the first leg 3-1 and then uh, with Di Matteo which was made manager the, for the second leg match they won 4-1 and totally go through the the match and uh, reach the, the next point of the competition so we have won and I really think this time Chelsea needs to surrender to Napoli. We now have our semi-finals which will be Atletico Madrid, Atalanta and uh, Olympic Lyon, Napoli which are quite a shocker given that there were a lot of stronger teams than uh, this one that I have just said. There were PSG, Manchester City, Real Madrid, even Juventus and uh, Bayern Munich. So let's see who will uh, reach the first spot in the final from if it will be Atletico Madrid uh, We'll uh, probably get uh, another chance at the winning the, the Champions League this time maybe more realistic more, more realistically it's uh, even better because uh, uh, They don't have to face uh, Real Madrid again, which was a powerhouse back in the time uh, or if Atalanta will uh, um, in a, in a shocking and surprising way will reach their first final at their first uh, Champions League uh, appearance so let's see who will come out from this bowl and we have Atalanta Atalanta will uh, reach their first and only for the time being Champions League final in this uh, draw we have done which is uh, great for the supporters of the of the team of the Italian team and for all football fans because if probably in Atalanta is one of the most spectacular team this year tied probably with Manchester City uh, in their respective le league they scored lots of goals and uh, after 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 great uh, great display of football and uh, let's see who will their opponent who will their opponent will be in the, uh, in the in the final in the Champions League final which will be played not in Istanbul because they change uh, the venue for the because of the emergency the, all matches will be played in Portugal and uh, so we will have another team that will reach the the final for probably for the first time I don't know if Lyon has uh, reached the Champions League final uh, before but Napoli um, Napoli's journey will end uh, the semi-finals so we now only have to draw one last time the final between uh, Atalanta and Lyon the two underdogs of this competition uh, Lyon eliminated Manchester City and uh, Juventus and Napoli now in the semi-finals Atalanta got rid of PSG and uh, Atletico Madrid so it will be a good match uh, really tied the two teams because they are not top level in their respective league but they are quite close because uh, in, of, of course Atalanta is quite close to the other teams they cling the, the Champions League spot once again this year in the, in the domestic league while I think Lyon doesn't uh, didn't reach the third or fourth place that they, they needed so their only chance to take part to the next Champions League will be this final winning the trophy and we'll see who will win the trophy and it will be Atalanta so the Italian time the Italian side first appearance first trophy first Champions League trophy the town will be really really in shock and uh, really uh, happy for uh, the, 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 the first Champions League trophy ever and many Italian fans will be joyful as well so thank you so much for watching this video because uh, it was quite a lot of fun like doing this uh, fake draw and uh, this fake Champions League hopefully we will see interesting matches in the following days I'm so glad that Champions League is back it's one of the best competition uh, because you never know what what will happen and uh, I think that maybe the World Cup is uh, something the Euros and World Cup is uh, more entertaining because it's like that one month you know you will have to watch every match anything can happen there 
Uh, but Champions League, as this magic uh, it comes once a year, and uh, the journey to the final is quite spectacular.